What's the healthiest ingredient in your Christmas dinner? As the festive season approaches, we're all looking forward to that glorious Christmas spread. It's a meal filled with tradition and a fair share of indulgence. There's the succulent turkey, taking pride of place at the center of the table. Then we have the infamous Brussels sprouts, the vegetable that is tolerated across the nation because of the festive tradition. The sweet tang of cranberries adds a vibrant touch, and the sage and onion stuffing provides a different texture and flavor to go with the meat. Let's dive into the nutritional profiles of these festive favorites. First up, the centerpiece of many Christmas meals, the turkey. This festive bird is a nutritional powerhouse. Its lean white meat is packed with protein, offering around 26 grams per 100 gram serving. That's more than half of your daily recommended intake. And it's not just about the protein. Turkey also comes with a generous helping of essential vitamins and minerals. It's a good source of vitamin B6 and niacin, which are both necessary for the body's energy production. Plus, it's rich in selenium, a mineral that supports your immune system and boosts your antioxidant capacity. But how does turkey fare when compared to other popular Christmas meats? Let's take a gander. Consider ham, for instance. While it's deliciously salty and satisfying, ham typically has less protein and more sodium than turkey. And then there's roast beef. Although it's a good source of iron and vitamin B12, it's also higher in saturated fat than turkey. So when it comes to the nutritional tug of war, turkey takes the crown. It's leaner and lower in sodium than ham, and it's a healthier choice than roast beef when considering the saturated fat content. But the beauty of turkey isn't just in its nutritional profile, it's also in its versatility. You can roast it, grill it, smoke it, or slow cook it. You can stuff it with whole grains and veggies for added nutrients, or you can serve it with a side of cranberry sauce for a sweet and tangy contrast. So, turkey is a healthy choice, but how does it stack up against the side dishes? Now let's turn our attention to the humble Brussels sprout. These mini cabbages pack a mighty nutritional punch. Brussels sprouts are loaded with dietary fiber, which aids in digestion and keeps you feeling fuller for longer. A handy trick to avoid overindulging in those tempting Christmas treats. They are also a rich source of vitamin C, an essential nutrient that boosts your immune system and keeps your skin glowing, even in the chilly winter months. But how you cook them can significantly change their nutritional profile. Let's start with boiling. While it's a quick and easy method, boiling Brussels sprouts can leach out some of their valuable nutrients, particularly vitamin C, which is water soluble. If you want to retain the most nutritional value, keep the boiling time to a minimum. Now, what about roasting? Roasting Brussels sprouts brings out their natural sweetness and gives them a delightful crispy exterior. While this method does maintain most of their nutrients, adding oil for roasting can increase the calorie count. So, if you're watching your waistline this Christmas, it's best to go easy on the oil. Then there's sauteing. This method has the advantage of speed and the ability to imbue the sprouts with flavors from other ingredients cooked alongside them. However, like roasting, sauteing requires oil, so it's important to be mindful of the amount used. So this Christmas, why not give these little green gems the spotlight they deserve? After all, they could be the most nutritious thing you eat on Christmas Day. Next up, cranberries. Those flavorsome little red gems that make their appearance at our Christmas dinner tables have quite an impressive nutritional profile. They are low in calories, high in vitamins C, A and K, and packed with dietary fiber. But that's not all. They also contain a type of antioxidant known as proanthocyanidins, which are known for their unique health benefits. Antioxidants, as you may already know, are compounds that help protect our bodies from damage by free radicals, unstable molecules that can cause cell damage. And cranberries are teeming with these powerful antioxidants. In fact, they're ranked among the fruits and vegetables richest in antioxidant properties. However, while fresh cranberries are highly nutritious, the cranberry sauce that often accompanies our Christmas dinners is a different story. Cranberry sauce is typically made by cooking cranberries with sugar and water. This process can lead to a significant loss of vitamins and antioxidants. Also, 
The added sugar in cranberry sauce can turn this otherwise healthy fruit into a calorie-laden side dish. Just one serving of canned cranberry sauce can contain up to five teaspoons of sugar. Perhaps consider making cranberry sauce at home, where you can control the amount of sugar added. Remember, the fresher the cranberries, the better the benefits. Before we get to the final section of this video about the Christmas dinner, I'd like to wish you a Merry Christmas. If you found this video interesting, then a lovely present would be to tap that like button. Do you have any festive health hacks? Drop a comment below and share them with the world. Thanks. Finally, let's talk about the stuffing. Traditionally made from bread, onions, celery, and a medley of herbs and spices, stuffing sounds pretty harmless at first glance. But here's the plot twist. Stuffing can be a stealthy source of unnecessary sodium and fat. This is largely due to the fact that many of us use store-bought stuffing mixes or pre-prepared stuffing, which are often laden with added salt and fat to boost their flavor. To put it in perspective, a single serving of stuffing can contain as much as one-third of your daily recommended sodium intake and about 10% of your daily fat allowance. That's a lot of sodium and fat packed into a side dish, isn't it? But don't despair. There are ways to keep the stuffing on the table while also keeping an eye on your health. Here's an idea. Why not try making your own stuffing from scratch? This way, you have complete control over what goes into it. Opt for whole grain bread instead of white and use low sodium broth to keep that sodium count in check. You can also add more vegetables like carrots or bell peppers to boost the nutrient content while keeping the fat and sodium levels down. Another option is to experiment with stuffing alternatives. How about a wild rice stuffing with cranberries or a quinoa stuffing with butternut squash and sage? These options can be just as tasty but with a more favorable nutritional profile. So, with a bit of creativity and some smart tweaks, you can enjoy a healthier yet still delicious Christmas meal without losing the festive joy.